three reasons why your stock footage is not selling. And before we get started, make sure you like the video for more stuff like this and subscribe if you want to see my regular vlogs where I go out and shoot stock video with other people. One, plan your shoot. Write out ideas of the scene or scenes that you want to capture. The ideas that you come up with should be related and relevant to upcoming seasons or events. And try to work with other people because faces and emotions tend to sell more. Now, the idea of finding people might appear to be a little tough, but trust me, there are many ways you can find people to work with. And keep in mind, there's a demographic for everything. It's marketing. And on that note, you might be surprised how many people are actually okay with being in stock footage once they hear they'll be paid every time it makes a sell for the lifetime of the clip. Whether it's family or friends, a neighbor, or even a post posts on a local Facebook modeling group. Try working out an upfront payment or do what I do, offer a split commission using the black box platform. Added bonus, if you are working with folks who model for a living or who are aspiring models, maybe offer to take their photos in at the end of the session for free in trade of owning a greater percentage of the series of clips you just shot than if you had not. And don't worry, this is entirely okay to offer or even ask of them and it's completely appropriate. Two. Think quality than quantity. Both matter, but clips that are well planned and produced are far more likely to outsell those that are shot on a whim without any prior planning. Think about it, wouldn't you rather have one clip that's a home run on your planning than a thousand junky rushed clips that are just overpopulating the marketplaces? Now that's not to say that basic or even generic looking clips won't sell. In fact, I believe it is still very important to capture those certain types of general shots, what I consider essential shots. Then take the time to see just how can you capture maybe that leaf blowing in the wind at different angles, vantage points, focal lengths, dolly panning, other camera movements, etc. And speaking of focal lengths and moving shots, please know that equipment does matter here. While most cameras are pretty good in terms of quality nowadays, please don't rely solely on your smartphone to shoot all your stock library. I say solely because while I have actually sold stock footage off my phone, you should try your best to stand out from others and provide only the best top-notch, well-planned, and well-produced footage on the marketplaces. And if you do shoot on your phone, please use pro mode and proper exposure methods. I'm not trying to be mean, but it is your clip against the world of other contributors and I'm just trying to give you tips here. Do whatever you can to make your stand out. Simple as that. And more on quality, I shoot everything in slow motion and 4K because the higher resolutions typically sell for more. And I'll get a little technical for a minute, but clips that are shot at 60 frames per second can be slowed down by 40% and give you more than twice the length of its original state while also allowing the buyer to speed it back up to real time. And 120 frames can be slowed down by five times. Of course, this all depends on if the final result of your processing is an edited clip exported at 24 or 30 frames per second. Now, upload at least five to even dozens of clips from a single scene so long as they are intentionally shot different from one another, i.e. think macro, close up, looking through the blurred out foreground, establishing shots, contextual shots. This is your creative time. Get creative and try to think outside the box. Ask yourself questions like, what would a buyer want? What might you expect to see on a commercial or advertisement and how would it be used? And finally, three, keywords and metadata curation. Yeah, now you've returned from shooting, you've processed all your clips, they're all uploaded, all your footage is online, and here's the most tedious yet arguably the most important part, keywords and metadata. A quick word of advice for me, if you don't have the time to properly research and come up with a maximum of 50 keywords, then consider handing the clip off with a percentage cut to someone who can do it for you. This is the reason why you should consider using the black box platform. Though if you have the time and patience, then use Google and do your proper research. There's even some keyword generating tools out there. And keep in mind the black box only allows up to 49 keywords, not 50. Include a rich description up to 200 characters that talks exactly about what the clip is showing and attach any model release forms if necessary. Categorize it and send it off to the sea of clips. Guys, I promise if you follow these tips, upload plenty of high quality clips that are well planned out and take curation very seriously, whether it's handing it off or doing it yourself, you will see sales. I promise you, you, you will see results. 
just keep at it, don't give up, and most of all, have fun. That's why I like to work with other people, again. Um, real quick, I'm not sponsored by Blackbox in any way. I know I've dropped their name quite a few times in this video. It's helped me make most of my styles, and it's completely, totally free. Just sign up at blackbox.global. I'll put a link in the description as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like for the algorithm. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Every week I've been uploading where I go and work with other people, and I create vlogs out of it. So if you guys want to go watch that and see what I'm up to every weekend, I encourage you to check it out. So thanks again for watching, and um, what should we do now? Oh, I know. Maybe we should go shoot some stock video. Yeah, yeah, you, you can shoot anything. Like, go outside, go shoot your parents, go shoot your friend, go film, I, sh I should say film at this point, I think. Go film something, Come film, film yourself typing at the keyboard. I don't know, get creative, it's your time. I'll see you in the next one, peace.